The year is 20XX, and we have Rom Communist. He says, invented a chess opening called the Lover's Gambit, where you toss the pieces aside <coughs> and start kissing your opponent. <laughs> what, the, what the heck? And start kissing your opponent on the table. Um, I think I know how humans can beat supercomputers at chess again. Um, I was not expecting it to go in that direction, but hey, whatever floats your boat, right? Um, geez. I've actually seen this before. Grandmasters describe Hikaru, oh, in bed. <laughs> I was like, I've seen it, but it, that's not what it is, you guys. Anyway, let's watch it. Decent. Bullet. Unpredictable. Weird, I would say, uh, as a player for me. Sharp. Wild. Aggressive. Tricky. Aggressive uh, and, and also uh, too passive at times. <laughs> Jeez, so bad. That's just so bad, whoever did that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wild, I know, wild, wild, exactly. Yeah, wild, totally, totally wild is, is uh, a lot of connotations can be, be attached to that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what is this? Wait, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me, uh, let me just take a deep, deep breath here. I was not expecting this to be the next one. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's see. It's master. Listen, our dog in G. G. But chess pays zero <laughs> now we have a list of the top <laughs> oh my god and now this is chess i was i was expecting them to talk about me but i didn't expect them to say chess pays zero like i was not expecting that they aren't wrong though they aren't wrong um i think actually i will say because my stepfather i, I think uh, my stepfather has spoken about it. i don't even mention in the chat here one day but uh, there was a time probably like 25 30 years ago when i i think they were playing each other all night long they were playing blitz and it was for like two dollars or three dollars every game and of course like i mean it was it was competitive and they were, they were having a good time and then afterwards they like went to breakfast at denny's because that's all they could that's all they could that's all they could afford so this is and that was a story about my stepfather playing against emory tate uh who is andrew tate's father so they're not wrong when they say this about chess that it pays zero so let's let's keep going 10 richest chess players in the world right now let me yeah top can, 10 richest chess players. can you get that up yeah top 10 richest chess players so we have one Number Hikaru Nakumaru, he's like number two in the world, I think, 50 mil. Fabiano Caruana, he played Carlson last year in the world. <laughs> oh my God, this is so bad. So bad. What can I say? Uh, it's not, it has nothing to do with him mispronouncing my name. It's just, it's so bad that people take, take a ridiculous article that was made for fun and they do that. I will say one thing I want to say, however, you guys, is that I remember maybe it's not recent I saw this, but I remember some time ago I saw a clip of Jim Carrey. And there's this there's this great clip um, where I think Jim Carrey he, he talks about how it's like he envisioned. I think he said he envisioned he would have a check for ten million dollars or something. And then it was like five years later he had a um, he he got like Dumb and Dumb or something. He actually got a check for ten million dollars. So for me, the way that I look at it is quite simple. If I say that I'm worth fifty million dollars enough times, and you know I just keep going about everything the way it is, inevitably it will end up being true because of what Jim Carrey said on Oprah about um about how he envisioned a ten million check. So if I envision fifty million, I say it a hundred times. Eventually, I will be worth fifty million dollars. Sounds good, right? Okay, makes me feel better about myself. Analyzing a game I lost to learn from my mistakes. Analyzing a game I easily won to see just how badly my opponent was losing. True. Actually, you know what? This is gonna. This is. Um, can you imagine Hans? This. This is. This is what Hans wants to. Hans is. Hans is gonna. This is. This somehow you can extrapolate this into Hans's game against Magnus today. But anyway, let's keep going. What's next? Toby Maguire. I was today years old when I found out Bobby Fischer was also Spider Man. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Really lacking in realism. Okay, awful chess game. Ah, <sighs> OMG, there's just too much booba here. Come on, seriously. Come on. Do better, everybody. Do better. Number 10. Tip number 10. Sit at, sit at the chessboard and play with yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> This, the content today is um, very unusual. Let's, let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. <clears throat> so bad. Autocorrect doesn't understand us. My autocorrect. Me trying to explain that it's, one e, that it's E4, E5, not E4, E5. What? Me trying to explain it's E4, E5, not E4. So it's capital versus lower, lowercase. So it's like looking at the bricks, basically. Trying to explain like the difference in the bricks. Is that what it is? 
Because the ones here are like really tiny, right? I'm confused. I I'm confused. It's oh, it's like talking to the wall. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah. What's next? People at chess tournaments be like, uh oh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is actually, uh, this is really well done too, I'm not gonna lie, because anybody who's been to a top-level chess tournament, it, this, this does happen pretty frequently. So, this is a pretty good Reddit React this week. This is pretty funny so far. What else do we have? Checking on the dog, what is this? Cute dog. Okay, checking on the doggo. Nice check. Yeah. Cute. Am I annoyed with the coughs? I mean, sometimes I even have phlegm in my throat and cough, but there are certain players who are very well known for it more so than me. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I will say, I will say this because I, I saw on one of my videos recently, people were asking, um, they said they liked some of the insider stories that I give to them. Uh, one second, let me mute this so I can see the message first. Um, it says, hi, sorry, I'm running late. Can you check the dog for me, please? Oh, that's so cute. Strange request, but okay. Nice, nice. Uh, but as I was saying, so yeah, when we talk about the coughing meme, um, I played in Leuven. There was a Grand Chester event in Leuven, and I think it was 2017. And Fabiano actually, I think he spoke to the Arbors, and he, he complained about uh, Wesley So coughing during their game. I think it was even mentioned in one of the articles. So it has happened before where people get really annoyed and they do complain about it. So anyway, let's keep going. What's next? Um, Mom, let's do the dishes. What is this? Ivan... <clears throat> Ivan I go Don versus the Viad. Okay. Mom, wait, no, no, wait. There's a meme here. Wait. Mom, let me do the dishes. Okay. Uh, uh, this is adopted, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten in a row, so this is adoption. So um <clears throat> but what is the joke? Wait, you win ten in a row, so it's adopted. Um I, I don't get it. I, I'm I'm missing the I'm missing the joke here. But this isn't his mom, is that what you're saying? I, I just I don't understand. I, I'm missing I'm missing the joke, but all right. <clears throat> Few more to go. We have Castle. What is this? Come closer, my king. We'll protect you. Okay, king's running closer, closer, tired. You heard the king move. And then <clears throat> you heard the king move. And they come closer. Wait, sorry, I'm doing it the wrong order. Come closer, king will protect you. King is here. You heard the king move. Okay. I feel safer now. And then he's here. Wait, I'm reading the wrong way. I'm reading it wrong, right? Come come closer, my king will protect you. Oh, this is the castle. So here, then you get here tired. You heard the king, you heard the king move, and the rook starts hammering away. And now the king is on the safe side. Uh, basically, they're attacking the rook, right? They're just attacking the rook. So the king is just safe here. Yeah, okay, the king is safe, and, and now everything's attacking towards the rook, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I kind of get it. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but it's what it is. All right. What is this? FIDE should incorporate this new elimination system. So you guys are agents. Okay, what is this? You're a bounty hunter? So you guys are agents? Yeah, we're bounty hunters. You're a bounty hunter? Yeah. Can you explain w what exactly that is? When somebody is arrested for a crime and supposed to go to trial, some people don't follow through. A uh, bloke we're after right now, um, lovely fella, he was playing chess with his best friend, <laughs> and the guy beat him, so he shot him in the head. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are we for real today? Seriously? Oh my, this is so bad. Jeez. Like it just it seemed like I was like, okay, where is this going? That's not the ending I was expecting. Um, jeez, this is so bad. Like it's it sounded all fine, like, okay, probably it was just like playing chess, and it's like, yeah, it has a very dark turn. Um <laughs> oh my god. That is so bad. <laughs> okay, what's next? We have one more with exactly 100 upvotes. Uh, playing chess, but Ronaldin R Ronaldino style, no, no look capture. When I pretend that I don't see the opponent next check, and then he checks me and I take his rook with the bishop from far distance. Um, nice. Nice. Good, good one to end on. Very, very good one. Um, but man, crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs>